Masters of the Universe is making its return on Netflix. Oh boy, it's worth a watch. The war for Eternia begins again in what may be the final battle between He-Man and Skeletor. Welcome back movie watchers, thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Masters of the Universe Revelation is a new five part series on Netflix. This is a first part of a two part or possibly more series. I'm a casual fan of He-Man Masters of the Universe. I've seen a handful of episodes when I was younger. I saw the movie that is Oscar worthy in my opinion. So I was looking forward to this new animated series on Netflix brought to life by Kevin Smith. Without knowing this without knowing the series finale of Masters of the Universe, I was able to jump right into this new animated series. I was able to jump back into the characters of He-Man, Skeletor, Tila, Cringer and plenty other fan favorite Master of the Universe characters. Now with only five episodes, you have to get a lot done. And this really feels like it's setting up something even bigger down the road. This focuses a lot on Tila. Tila has a lot to do in here. She is at a point in the series where she doesn't fully believe in magic anymore. She wants to, you know, focus a lot of her time on technology. And one of the bigger storylines in here, I guess one of the themes is that magic is dying. And without magic in Eternia, Eternia would cease to exist. And so Tila has this state of mind for most of the five episodes uh, that she's trying to advance in technology rather than relying on magic. So that was an interesting way to approach the character and approach a kind of new modern take on the series while continuing the stories from the original series. But we also have He-Man in here and Skeletor, who's voiced by Mark Hamill of all people. We'll get to that later. We also have Cringer and Evil Lynn and Moss Man. Characters that you know from the Masters of the Universe series do make an appearance in here. The animation is really good. It doesn't feel cartoony like the original Masters of the Universe series did. I thought the animation was good back then. Now it's a more modern take on it. It's bright, it's dark at times. The style of the characters, they look really good. And there's a lot of great action scenes, a lot of use of magic and technology and all of the different characters. It all pops. It's really good looking. But from the first episode to the fifth episode, and they're not that long, there's this sense of urgency that runs through this series so, so good. Without spoiling a lot, because there's a lot of things that happen within the first couple episodes that really set up this whole entire series, and I would hate to spoil it for you guys and just kind of ruin it. But what happens really puts Eternia in a state of chaos and a state of where something happens that needs to be fixed. And Tila's right there to try to return Eternia to its previous glory. Even up to the last second of this episode, you do get the sense that it is setting up something bigger. And a lot of it does feel really quick, like we're trying to get to that second part. And I'm sure when we do watch the second part, the moments of part one are going to feel very integral to the second part. There's a lot at stake within here between He-Man and Skeletor and Tila and some new characters as well. So that urgency does make the series fill pretty quick and with only five episodes, about 20 to 30 minutes each, it's a pretty quick watch. And with a focus on Tila and a little less focus on He-Man and Skeletor, it is setting up something even stronger in the second part. So as a casual fan of Masters of the Universe, I really did enjoy this series. I think the urgency and the chaos for Eternia uh, made this a really quick watch. There's also a lot of humor in here from some of the uh, more minor characters. The humor from the Masters of the Universe series is brought nicely into this new updated version. The action is really great and Mark Hamill as Skeletor is perfect. It provides a really gruff kind of voice acting for Skeletor 
and a really intimidating one as well. And there's going to be a lot of Skeletor and He-Man in the second part, so I'm really looking forward to that. Before I give you my final score on Masters of the Universe Revelation, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more up and coming content. If you guys love to watch ranking videos of movies, characters, shows, whatever it is, reactions to movies and trailers, reviews for Netflix and Amazon Prime and Hulu, all of that stuff, you guys are in the right spot. So make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more up and coming content just like this. Masters of the Universe Revelation, I'm gonna go ahead and give a B plus. Thank you guys for checking my review for Masters of the Universe Revelation on Netflix. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content. My name is Justin Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.